Hello everybody, today we will be calculating how long it would take a snail to travel around the entire Earth around the equator. If you enjoyed today's video, please remember to subscribe because I have a lot of stupid content like this. Okay, so the Earth's circumference as measured around the equator is 40,075 kilometers or 24,901 miles. And from very rough estimates that I made on a map, using a tiny scale, uh, about 17,000 miles of that is water, which will come into uh, play later, which leaves about 7,901 miles of land. Fun factoid, there are 11 countries on the equator. Indonesia has the longest distance of equatorial line, which means that more of the country is along the equatorial line than the other 10 countries. Okay, so a garden snail travels at 0.001 kilometers per hour or 0.0006214 miles per hour. Okay, but it has to get into a boat for the ocean part. So the fastest boat ever built is the Caspian Sea Monster. And this was an experimental boat built by the Russians during the Cold War. And obviously it could not travel super far because it was experimental and not really finished but we're gonna assume for both of our boats that it could just travel across the entire ocean with one tank of gas, which is of course not true. And this is also assuming that all of the land that the snail travels over is mostly flat, which may be true because a lot of the equatorial regions are usually like islands, which aren't that high. So the Caspian Sea Monster top speed is 650 kilometers per hour or 404 miles per hour or 350 knots. Um, and we're going to be also assuming that it can travel its top speed for the entire distance of water that we need. Now, a normal ship that could carry a lot of passengers, maybe a lot of snails, would be a cruise ship. So the Royal Caribbean Mariner cruise ship travels at 27.6 miles per hour or 24 knots, which is very respectable actually for that big of a boat because it's pretty much a skyscraper on its side. Okay, so the time needed to travel over the land distance, 7,901 miles, is 7,901.461 miles divided by 0 0.0006214 miles per hour, which gives us 12,715,579.337 hours, and that's how long it would take for the snail to snail his way across all of the land. Okay, so the time to travel over the water if you're using the fastest boat is 17,000 miles divided by 404 miles per hour, which gives us 42.079 hours, which is the answer to everything. Using a normal Royal Caribbean cruise ship is 17,000 miles divided by 27.6 miles per hour, which gives us 615.94 hours, which is probably more realistic pace for a snail. Okay, so the total traveling time, adding together the land time plus the boat time uh, using the fastest boat on Earth is 12,715,621.416 hours or 529,817.56 days or 1,450 years. It would take a snail 1,450 years to travel around the equator. <laughs> so the snail could have traveled around the Earth by now if he had started in the year 571. I mean, that's assuming a 400 mile per hour boat and the maps of the entire Earth around the equator existed at that time, which they didn't. So if the snail started now, he could be all the way around the world by 3471 when the human race may or may not be here. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. If you did like it, please subscribe down below. I'm trying to grow this channel because I think it's pretty interesting. Uh, I'm not that funny, but I think the videos are funny. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.